everyone and happy bank holiday um jess and i are in a hotel room as you can see behind me we've just checked into the crown plaza marlow we're here for one night stay my aunt actually got us a gift voucher from buy a gift for christmas and it's actually a gift voucher for a one night stay including dinner tonight um two glasses of fizz and breakfast the next morning we had about 20 25 hotels to choose from yeah this was the best of a bad bunch when i say bad bunch i don't mean that lightly i would personally not recommend anyone buy anybody a gift voucher like this from buy a gift because actually when we were looking at hotels I was looking at the reviews on TripAdvisor when I was googling them separately and all of the hotels were like 50 or 60 pounds a night and I know from looking at this voucher that it costs just over 100 pounds so I don't really think it's worth it a lot of the hotels are like two and three star they're like B&Bs I mean I don't do like two or three star hotels and I don't think it's what somebody would intend to give you as a gift if they're going to go out of their way to buy you a gift voucher you guilty of anything you said <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just not like you know when you give somebody a gift of like a one night hotel stay you expect it's going to be like a, a decent four star maybe a good three star not like just crap and all of these reviews were like terrible one of the hotels was in Reading but it was like on a motorway like who wants to stay like at the services on a motorway funnily enough I had a gift voucher that I got from a different company um, that I worked with last year but it was a gift voucher for buy a gift um, and it was again for a one night stay not the same voucher slightly different i don't think it included dinner or something like that and when i looked at those hotels they were even worse than these ones like out of about 20 i'd say about 12 of them were in glasgow we're not going to go to glasgow for one night um from london that's ridiculous a few were like near wales um and the rest were literally like less than five miles from our house and i was like well i don't want to stay like right around the corner from my house that's ridiculous and that one was really really bad so in fact i have actually exchanged that one for credit and so it's given me an extra 10 months to use it on maybe something a bit different maybe buy a product from their website instead but anyway so yeah i wasn't entirely surprised that this hotel wasn't that great although the reviews were decent on TripAdvisor. i'll show you my view that i'm currently like sat on this chair i'm looking out at the car park which is just great that's the hotel entrance it's a really gloomy like bank holiday this weekend last bank holiday in april was so nice wasn't that two weeks ago yep it was 28 degrees the whole weekend it was absolutely glorious this one is just freezing and it feels <clears> like winter is back we have our coats on we have the heating on at home last night anyway i will give you a quick room tour but like i said it's really nothing special we're just going to go and explore the hotel so i'll take you with me for that as well in a bit right yep well they have a spa here so that might be quite nice <laughs> coffee. Bed, yeah. I need to go find a coffee. And this is the bed. It was kind of crinkled actually when we arrived. So that isn't great. There's a little chair in the corner. There's this huge desk, which is like the most random thing ever. This would have actually been really handy when we were in Dublin and like I was actually working from the hotel room if it was a nicer room. TV. Here's all of our luggage. We have um complimentary water kettle and there's a fridge in there and there's wardrobes let me show you the bathroom there's a little shower oh it's a bit tiny isn't it yeah. uh the sink just has already unpacked his toiletries as you can see um there's the stuff there and there's also a bathtub here and that's it it's also worth pointing out that um, they gave us a room upgrade to a king size room because Jazz has got the loyalty card thing for this hotel group. What's it called? IHG Rewards. Oh, IHG Rewards. Um, and he's a gold member because we've obviously stayed in like, a few of their hotels in the past year or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, that's the room upgrade. <laughs> Basically, out of the IHG hotels, the best one of probably stay as the Intercontinental, I guess. The oh holiday yeah, in, he the, said that the Intercontinental Yeah, that was really good. In Dublin, I haven't been there, but, but I can imagine how, my, from past how amazing that is. Past experience, Crown Plazas and Holiday Inns and not all that. I seem to remember the Crown Plaza in Reading wasn't that bad though. Yeah, that was okay. This one's blooming it. It says four star for this one. It's, it's not three. four star. I want to be like a person that reviews stuff on TripAdvisor. Like their authorised person. Because <laughs> this is definitely not a four star. 
Oh, my hair's so frizzy. Anyway, we're going on a hunt for a coffee now, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> So we had a coffee and we went for a little wonder just to check out the pool. There's like a pool, a spa, a sauna, a gym, an outdoor jacuzzi, but I couldn't film in there obviously because there's people in there and the guy was giving us a bit of a guided tour. But now we just come outside like a different entrance and I don't know where we are. It's really cold though, but it's gone like 10 past eight. I really wanted to like use the pool, but we've got dinner booked at nine o'clock. There's probably no point today, so we should do that tomorrow. Yeah, surprisingly, look at it, the blue sky still. Yeah. For eight o'clock. It's just really cold. But yeah, the gym looks quite big in here. Yeah. And the pool's really big as well, so. It's only one guy in the gym as well. <laughs> gym to yeah, it opens at seven, so technically we could go really early. Yeah. Like before or after breakfast, depending. Okay, seeing as there's literally nothing else to do, it's time to have a pre dinner drink. Da 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 da! Oh, let me get, you get this thing open first before we even celebrate. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so we're having one glass of Prosecco each, just is watching TV in the background. There's some like, really weird version of Blind Date on, um, but with some other guy. It's not like Cilla Black, obviously. Didn't she die? Didn't Cilla Black die? No, I think she's still around. Is she? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, um, so can you pour, can you so I don't know what to wear for dinner because we met down for coffee earlier. Like people were just in trainers and hoodies and not really dressed up. Some people were like super dressed up and some people were in like hoodies and trainers. I bought like a, well, let me show you. This is my suitcase. Um, this is like a really nice dress that I ordered on ASOS and it arrived this morning, but that's far too fancy for dinner here, I think. Just is wearing a shirt. I also bought this other dress on ASOS that um, I wasn't planning to wear because it isn't going to be warm enough this weekend. But I just wanted to try and shoot it if like it was sunny tomorrow. I might wear this with leggings, which isn't ideal because the other thing I bought is just a normal top to wear with leggings like on the way home tomorrow. Should I get dressed up or not? You might as well. I think the t-shirt I was wearing earlier was just a bit too casual, <clears> but I've <throat> got about 10 minutes to down this Prosecco, <laughs> get ready, stick on a lipstick, and go down for dinner. I feel so frumpy in this dress, because I'm kind of wearing it with leggings. <laughs> so I got the paneer gel frenzy with pilau rice. What did you get? Mine's fish curry. Fish curry. And like the garden on shirt. dinner a bit tipsy um we had a glass of prosecco before we oh oh god this bed is really gonna hurt my back in the morning jess it's a really soft mattress yuck hate that dinner was actually really nice like they had a choice between like well we had to have a set menu because it was included as part of our package um which i was really glad about because the restaurant menu is actually in the lift of this hotel and the veggie option there's only one didn't look that great on the a la carte menu but the set menu was completely different and they had like a regular like english side what well, was mostly italian i think and they had an indian side and it was a three course menu so you could like pick a mix between the two sides obviously there were more veggie options on the indian menu and the waiter was really nice as well and he was like look our chef's indian he's worked here for 14 years and the foods were meant to be really good so we're like oh well, let's give it a go and like <laughs> i had paneer for starters paneer pakora then i had paneer gel frozy for my main the guy did warn me he was like it's a bit oily um because it's like obviously cheese but then the only other option was something that i didn't like the look of so i didn't get that and i was like Do you know what sod it i'll just wing it and have it and actually it wasn't much more oilier than like a normal paneer curry would be and then 
for dessert I had a cheese board but I didn't really eat the cheese I just had the grapes <laughs> that's what I really wanted and because I can't normally eat a three course meal so yeah dinner was really good and now we're having more Prosecco I feel a bit tipsy um I've just been on Instagram stories I'm thinking I might do um oh people are messaging me thinking I might do like a drunk q a like get people to ask me anything <laughs> that looks disappointed anyway i'm gonna wrap it up here um because we i think we want to try and like wake up early in the morning to have like an early breakfast i can't think of food or like go use the pool early and then have breakfast whichever way around it happens so yeah i'll see you guys in the morning and wish me luck because this bed is like look at this like i'm sat on the bed you won't be able to tell, but it's like sunk like right in. It's so like soft, it's horrible. There's nothing worse than a soft mattress. I'm not impressed. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got courage. Oh my god, how good does my porridge look? So I have porridge made out of soy milk, these candied bananas, um, peanut butter and raspberry jam. Yum! And I have some melon for the side. Yes! Oh, it's so cold. Shh. We're going to the pool now. And the spa and the jacuzzi. So excited. in there i could have spent the entire day in there it was a bit chilly though but now oh look at the state of my hair we literally had like half an hour to like run back to the room shower put on a bit of makeup and check out so this is why i look like this and my hair is super frizzy but yeah we've just checked out i have no idea what we're gonna do now i don't know if we're gonna hang around here for a bit or maybe head home but we're not very far from home so i don't know where's my potato dress <laughs> We're home, we actually stopped off at the services to grab some food, we went to Weatherspoons and had a jack of potato each. And on the way home, we went to Starbucks, sat there for a few hours and did some work. And now I'm gonna unpack my suitcase and make some dinner in a bit. So I thought I would just end this vlog here because I'm not doing anything exciting and I thought I'd just keep it short and sweet for once. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did then please give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye.